Hi there. In this video, I will talk about the string operations with Python Panda series. So string operations are one of the very common operations where you have to manipulate the strings to get it in the desired format. Things like making them in uppercase, lowercase, replacing the string or replacing it with some specific value that you want or maybe joining the strings. So I will show you how you can do it in the Python Pandas series with the help of Pandas library. So for that, first of all, let's go ahead and import Pandas library as pd and then get the file. So the file that I have is the superstore sales as an example fill file which I have been using from past so many videos and I am getting the first sheet so zero is indicating that i am getting the first sheet from this excel file and this is the function pd dot read underscore excel that you need to use to read any excel file and i am storing the first sheet information in this object called orders so let's go ahead and execute this by pressing shift enter all right so the file i have it now in this object now let me show you first couple of observations so let's say i want three by default it shows five so i can specify any number within the head and get the first three observations and here i have the information about uh, the different columns and along with the data values that it has so let's say we want to know how many unique value that uh, let's say order priority has or maybe province or maybe customer name based on the values that uh, this sheet contains so for that what we can do is we can get uh, orders first of all that object and then maybe order priority and then just specify unique with this it will give you all the unique values that are present in this particular op series so right now by this method or by writing this statement we are accessing order priority series and we are asking the unique values so for that let's press shift enter and here we have low high not specified medium critical as the unique value present in this series you can also get the number of unique values so sometimes uh, along with the unique values you are interested in getting the number say for example you have millions of rows of data set and uh, you have a customer name or maybe product name so you want to know how many products unique products that you have in that data set so for that what you can do is again you can write orders order priority and the function is or the method is an unique uni unique all right with this it gives you the value 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 correct so that's that's how you can get the unique values as well as number of unique values present in the series this way you can access any other series by giving its name so for example if you are interested in knowing the customer name the unique customer because one customer for example Barry French is coming couple of times like Barry French Barry French and you are interested in knowing how many unique customers that you have then you can simply pass on the value over here to get the unique names or if you want unique count you can get the unique count with the help of an unique function now let's go ahead and explore a couple of other options so for example this is in a title case like this not n is capital and s is capital let's say our requirement is to convert this entire string into uppercase s. so for that you can again write orders order priority and then you need to write str which is a library and then you need to write upper this way you will get whatever values this series contains will be converted into the upper values and give you the output so let's go ahead and execute this 
So once you execute this, you will get all the values as the output. Now, the important thing to understand is when you are doing this operation, there is no impact into the data set because if you will see, for example, if I just comment it out and uh, show you orders and uh, order priority, let's take first couple of observations. You can see it's still in a title case because we have not made any impact into the data set but a temporary impact to the series. If you want a permanent impact, then what you can do is you, can, you need to store this operation. Say, for example, I just copied and instead of writing, I will simply copy this and paste it over here and say, this is how I want to store the values. So this way, my operation of conversion will store into this order priority series and it will be a permanent impact. So for now, I'm good. I just wanted to explain you so that you are not confused why it is not impacting your uh, data frame or that, you know, the data or the sheet that you Im imported. After that, uh, like upper, you have lower and that will, and I will just use had so that it is not showing us all the values. And if I press enter, all the values are converted into lowercase. Similarly, you have title to convert it into a title case where N will be in capital and S will be in capital and the rest of the characters will be in the small letters. So let's go ahead and execute that. And as you can see, the first letter is in capital and in case there are multiple words. So the first word uh, or the first letter of the word is capital and the second letter of the second word here in this uh, second letter here in this word is capital. All right, let's move ahead. Let's say you are interested in knowing the number of characters each of these string contains. So if that is the case, you can use the len method, the length method, order priority, pri, priority dot str dot len, len dot hat. So this way you will get the character count or the word count for each of the word in this uh, in this series. And again, you can create a new column, for example, like this orders, uh, order prior priority len is equals to this. And this way you can store the values uh, into a separate column altogether and do your data analysis. So sometimes in when you are doing the text analytics, this function can become really helpful because different types of length of a word or of a sentence will help you understand or do the categorization of the data. So sometimes that's where you will find it pretty helpful. All right, let's move ahead. So earlier we have seen that uh, a particular series is in title case or upper or lower let's say you want to figure it out from your series whether it is in a title case or not so that's kind of a boolean operation that you want to do so how you can check that so you can first of all write the series name and then str and then is title and then head so this is this function is basically helping you understand whether this series is in title case or not so if it is not a particular word is not in a title case it will say false otherwise it will say true so let's go ahead and execute that so in this case all of those values are in title but let's say we change it a little bit so i'll just copy this so that i don't have to write it again i'll copy this and paste it over here and say upper right and store the values in the data frame I'll just copy all the series of data frame 
and now we are saying whether it is a title case or not so let's go ahead and execute that and now you can see they are all false because we have made it into an uppercase whereas after that we are checking whether it's a title case or not if we will change it from is title to let's say is upper or is lower then it will give you the true value so now it has been changed to true so this way you can check whenever you are you are performing string operations whether something is in uh, some word in uppercase or a lowercase so they perform the series operation entirely to check whether it's uh, in uppercase lowercase or title case next next let's uh, let's check whether the series contains a particular word or not so for example this order priority i will just copy it up till here and paste it and say contains and let's say word not specified and i will just select first few observations so this will basically give us again true and false whether the particular word in a series will contain the uh, not specified or not wherever the not specified will be there it will be true otherwise it will be false so let's go ahead and execute that so not specified for everything it is saying false because we have changed it into an uppercase so for ex we now need to say in entirely capital SPECI specified and now you can see it has changed to true because that's the op operations we performed over here and uh, now with contains you can get the true value so this way you can identify whether a particular word uh, that series contains is present or not and this way you can even filter the series and we'll show you i'll show you in uh, subsequent videos about how you can really use it to filter out the data all right let's move ahead and see the replace method so sometimes uh, say for example in not specified you want to change it to maybe an a or a null value because you don't really want to count these these uh, specific strings so how you can do that again we need to write it until here at least because there's a string operation we need to use the str and say replace what replace not specified with an a yeah let's go ahead with capital n a all right and let's pick it ahead so as you can see low high and now not specified is not coming but n is coming so there are a lot of operations that can be performed with the help of uh, with the help of this these string methods and uh, you can look at basically the library uh, str library so you can write pandas str library and here you will find uh, the str package or the str library let's quickly see our search again and here you go all right so here you have the str and contains and other things but down there you will find that string handling and here are all the different kinds of methods that is present for the string handling so we saw contains there is a count method it's capitalized method alien method we saw so a lot of methods are here and you can visit just simply writing in a google search and see whether uh, the particular function for which you are really looking for is present over here or not so that's pretty much all i have and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic